Hello, everybody. Proxy Table Gaming. I'm Hyper G. Lucky Sixes is here. What up, dog? All right. All right. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. Thank you. Good. And you? you've. I'm. I'm also well. Yes, I, I tend to be, which is good. This is a good general status to have. It's a good way to be. <laughs> yeah, uh, and even better for knowing that you've been to a tournament in this yeah. wonderful world of Ninth Age, and it is. had a good time. Yeah, it was but really, I don't know really anything fun. about the battles. So. No, and uh, no, which is good. We to kind of do it on purpose, and I'm just too busy on the day to actually update you. Um, well, yeah. So I, I messaged you like fifty times. Zero at least, responses. at least, somebody um, just the poo yeah. emoji I send back. I oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it is my favourite emoji. To be fair, exactly. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, here we are. Here with um, this is the mids GT, uh, and uh, I'm uh, first up against, and I'm very, very glad to be doing so up against Matty P and his empire. Oh, oh what a treat! What a what treat. start! What start to a tournament as well? That's that's, um, that's quite difficult to go in on such a high. Like it I only know. gets worse from there, doesn't it? Yeah, it might be you is know. the pinnacle of yeah. my page. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So still, yeah, I mean, still it, never it had nice. a pleasure. Still never. Have you not? I think, never, I never, think never, this never. is our third or fourth battle now. Yeah, we, we've, we've, we've come up against each other at a surprising amount. Um, mm. But yeah, so uh, just as a bit of context we were a part we were a team myself paul luke tranter and tom clues and we'll get into mm. the armies a bit later uh rock paper scissors empire <laughs> we were called because paul was rocking <laughs> empire and he was our capitan um yeah. so who you played uh, in our in your only practice battle really? yes yes uh so yeah i had that and the high elf battle uh, as my practice uh with the homor list that you'll see in a sec um yeah. And yeah, so no, it was just uh, it was a group of. Uh, I ended up helping them out in the end because they had uh, three, and I thought, uh, what what better team to go in with, um, mm. and uh, especially with Paul leading it, help them out and yeah, yeah get some games in. Uh, so here we are against Matty P's Empire. Uh, in terms of my list, uh, this you will have seen it before if you saw the uh, the last bat rep, but just if you haven't, it's a warriors list with a exalted herald who I love. But probably isn't worth points. Um, Chosen Lord, uh, who again, a lot of people tell me they don't. They think he's overcosted. I'm very surprised. No, by it. he should be at least two hundred more. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, Chosen Lord uh, with uh, sloth in the sloth brick of warriors. Um, basically, yeah. with such a greatness, so he's six strength six. Uh, can be seven strength seven with uh, Isla Spite. Uh, Rod of battle for for kicks and giggles. Um, on the ward is so it can't be stomped as well. So I, I just I just like him. Um, adept good. sorcerer uh, with the book. So he's got three spells from um, alchemy, which is nice, uh, especially with all the flaming going on elsewhere. Uh, the especially with the sloth warrior brick, five fallen and eight warhounds as my chaff and to round off core. I've got ten chosen great weapon wrath. Warriors, oh, uh, with no nice. standard because I had to fit in something else a little bit later on. Um, four chosen knights uh, with gluttony, so they uh, if they get chaffed or if they have one round of combat, they go to strength six. Uh, with waste and torch because that's super useful on them. Um, I've got chosen chariot with MV, so that's a double sift stride. And then of course, the really the crux of the the list, <laughs> the new list, is the Helmore. Uh, the free Helmore. Ride. The free Helmore, and we say that because two years ago I ran a very similar list, and it was this exact list without the Helmore. Um, although yeah. I did have a standard on the Chosen, so there is that. Ah, oh, there you go. It's the sacrifices you've had to make, eh? I know, absolutely. Um, but yeah. essentially, it was a. I wanted to try out the Helmore. I've got two models of it. Never used it. Never used any of them in any regard, uh, even friendly matches. So why not do a team tournament straight away? Eh? Throw myself yeah. into it. Yeah, uh, I like and, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and I say it was something new, uh, a new mechanic for warriors as well. So uh, I was interested to do it, not only just for uh, myself, but to show it on the, the 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 battle reports and see if we can work it out uh, between us uh, and the viewers. Yeah, um, it looks Matty's like Empire there's a prelate list. or two. 
There is a bit. Oh my goodness me! Uh, it was character. I mean, seven characters is mad, right? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. But for Empire, Empire, they're just so useful that you just you just have to get, cram them all in where you can. Um, so he's got the Knight Commander with the Light of Sunstall uh, on a horse, uh, two marshals, um, one on a uh, one with black seal, one with imperial seal, um, General Bis and Bis B on foot. Uh, we've got a prelate on a horse, a prelate uh, on foot, another prelate on foot, and another prelate on foot. Yeah, they're they're playing it like they're dwarfs, like all slightly different setups. Yeah, they're all like <laughs> one up, two up armor, all this stuff, yeah. Yeah, and just hard, yeah, pretty hard to kill for considering, mm. Uh, mm. and just adding all the the spells and stuff. But obviously, no wizard, so all the spells do come oh. from the prelates. Uh, there, yeah. uh, you've got nineteen electoral cav. Um, in core with banner of, banner of speed, uh, big wow, unit of he 19. heavy infantry. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And you'll see it on the <laughs> thing. I I like how he did it um, as well. Um, that's just to complement the like Sunstall guy as well. Of big unit of heavy infantry, small unit of heavy infantry, parent and support. Uh, medium ish unit of Imperial Guard, pretty big. I think it's forties max anyway. So I suppose you could go medium large <laughs> uh, unit. <laughs> We've got an arcane engine uh, just pumping out a bit of uh, range damage, uh, artillery, two vol volley guns again for the uh, range damage, and um, and of course some flagellants just because. Yeah. And it just there's just so many blocks, and considering mm -hmm. my small army, <laughs> I know yeah. I know like warriors are elite anyway, but oh my goodness, it just seems a lot much. of HP in there. Yeah, there is, and there every is. armored HP. Yeah. yeah. Well, not um, imagined, the first one was Frontline Clash and Breakthrough. I believe this is the same as the ETC uh, battles uh, in terms of scenarios and objectives. So I think they were, this is like a bit of a trial for that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Frontline Clash and Breakthrough. Interesting with the Breakthrough for the Hellmore as well. So that we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I mean, we had some discussions about that. You teleporting things into... Scoring zone, yeah, didn't we? yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it how it affects the battle if it does or if it doesn't, whatever. Yeah. Um, so these were our our cards that we shot for our armies. You have got the beasts, empire, highborns, and warriors. Um, uh, our team matched up, or well, as I say, our team. It was all pull. <laughs> we put all the pressure on Paul to yeah. do the matchups and things. Um, so uh, Luke, let me guess, beasts... Paul, every matchup that Paul had was green. Green before yeah. he matched them, yeah. There was we'll every see. opponent was green. I don't mean we that had... he chose the easy ones, I mean that Paul has a very it positive just... spin on every battle, yeah. He's just <laughs> he I'll, can I'll win every anyone. battle, yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Um, yeah. So we had a, a bit of thing. Rob Jenkin, who played KOE, uh, was not there, but because he broke down on the M1, which was really sad. <laughs> but luckily, yeah. he got back uh, for game two and everything. It was fine, uh, relatively speaking. So that was good. Um, so they we immediately got a ringer in, uh, which was another Empire list, um, okay. because obviously his models weren't there and it, it was expecting to be and things. So we had two Empires, Sylvans and Dread Elves. Um, we put uh, beasts into Sylvans, which is an interesting uh, thing. Um, Paul took the uh, Second Empire list. Uh, mm -hmm. We yeah. um, Highborns got Dread Elves, and then we obviously the Warriors got Empire. And in terms of our matrices, oh, uh, we did oh. beforehand. Um, so the KOE I'm was green. Wrong. Yeah, the, the, well, the <laughs> KOE was a green for a lot of us. Um, okay. just with the Empire uh, for Paul, and that was down as a green for Paul, um, but it, with the Empire versus Empire, it's just so swingy that it's, of course, you know, one yeah, of them yeah. will do it. Um, we, we kind of paired for Tom Clues um, on the High Elves against Dread Elves. Um, the Dread Elves, this is the 40 Judicators, or the four lots of 40 right. day Judicators or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So, and with the shooting uh, capabilities of high elves um, with, mag with magic and stuff. We that was a down as a green. Um, mine was an orange rather than a yellow because, um, especially with Paul's knowledge of empire, uh, we said that that should probably go the empire's way uh, over the course of things, which I was interested. I didn't really know if I'm honest. Um, I, I I put some matrix greens and yellows and reds down, but 
I don't really know many of them, so we'll see if we're right <laughs> at all. Um, from my point of view, this was my magic and spell cards. Uh, really only done it so that I can show off the uh, uh, Sorcerer and Mortal and Bind of Spirit um, mm -hmm. for the Exodus Herald. Uh, they, of course, do these things, so I get hard target. Basically, that was super good against Paul um, for my Herald. Basically meant that they he didn't get chosen as a option so he could just fly around and do whatever he wanted um and source and mortal is just an auto the auto take of everything yeah. because you get grave calls and uh as you can see hellfire um which is what i ended up taking for most of the battles i can't yeah. i don't think there was many that i didn't it's a very um, good um spell to take it is it is yeah um but yeah so that's what i took there this is a uh, paul and his empire off uh and obviously i was right next to them and uh, so there was three empire, all the three empire lists were in two tables, round one, which was nice. interesting. Yeah, well, Darren uh, looks uh, infinitely happier than Paul there. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Um, this is deployment. And um, he, it was uh, Frontline Clash, and Matty actually dropped for first. Uh, get, already getting That's the moral it. high ground. It's like he knows the, you. Yeah. I know, I know, yeah. and uh, yeah. Um, so, from my point of view, I've got the Herald, the Chosen uh, Warriors, and the Chosen Chariot on the hill, held more behind them. I've got the Fallen and the uh, Sloth bro Brick uh, in the middle, and on the right, I've got the Warriors. Uh, so, the Chosen Knights. Um, they're actually in the forest, uh, in the ruins behind. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, and I change the forest in his center to be a ruins as well uh, sure. just to be annoying for infantry uh and yeah and the dogs over there to help chaff against the knights thinking that if i can get the, the chaff away um i should guarantee a charge and having a charge against the knight brick is a uh, pretty important Amazing. i think yeah uh he's got the big unit of halberdiers on the left um, with the uh, with the support unit just next to them, the Imperial Guard, the Flagellants, two um, volley guns with the Arcane Engine behind, and then on the right he's got his Son Light of Sunstall guy, which I'm very very scared of. Um, it almost means that like, like this the charge is a bit still a bit iffy because the of the Sunstall win there, um, but yeah, uh, and uh, the whole brick. On that right side, uh, he goes first. Uh, but before he mo goes first, I put my Helmore marker down, and I put it just next to one of his um, volley guns. <laughs> I am. I've measured because he went first. I've measured that I'm over twenty four away from everyone. So if they want to do anything, they have to come forward, and if they come forward, I can potentially blast them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he moves forward fairly tentatively, just getting his ranges up. Uh, making sure that I don't have any easy charges, uh, just like so. And because of the magic, there wasn't really that much in the way of uh, damage or anything, so we kind of just... That's it. He does move his volley guns a little bit forward um, so that the next turn they can potentially go into the sloth brick or something, um, but not too much. Yeah. Uh, and But otherwise, it's it's pretty much as you are. The Arcane Engine does come over this way to give the, I think it's Lightning Reflexes, to the Imperial Guard. Or distracted, I can't remember. I can't remember. It was, it was one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah. Uh, I, I often think that distracting is infinitely better because of all the spells and things they have, but I don't know. But it all uh, depends on... Um, I mean, yeah. I, I'd probably think the opposite, actually, because, personally, because they, the um, always strikes first um, gets rid of the um, great weapon penalty. Um, yeah. But, I, guess, I guess it's just because yeah. they've got so many numbers. So if you can take yeah. off a third of or a sixth of the, the hits in the first place, I don't know. Anyway, um, on to my turn, and I move even more tentatively. Um, we're basically putting as much on that hill as possible to mean he can't go around. Apart from the Herald. The Herald's pretty safe and can mm -hmm. get in range of uh, some Hellfire goodness and Grave Calls on the Arcane Engine, so it does so. So why not? Yeah, he flies, doesn't he, the Herald in this one? Uh, he doesn't fly. In this no, one, because this he's one. got Biden okay. Spirit and Sorcerer Mortar. You need Breath, yeah, yeah. Breath of the Dragon or something, or Dragon something, Brand of the Dragon, yeah, yeah. Uh, to do that. 
Uh, so yeah, his but still, you are... wouldn't mind if you have to just charge that big brick and just chew through them slowly. Uh, yeah. No, the, the issue is they unless will they turn turned. around. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going there, but I've got a movement of fourteen, so I can go around. My aim is actually just to keep pummeling this thing till it's dead, and then go after the small <laughs> unit. Yeah, yeah. So I've got. I mean, my Hellfire and Grave Calls as spells. If I get one of them off, I could one shot it, but likely it's in two rounds. Mm -hmm. I I kill it. I think. I don't know yeah, what yeah. the averages are, but they're two amazing spells against that because it's only got a five up save. So yeah. Uh, armor safe. So yeah, uh, onto my start of my magic, and of course, start of my magic. I have something else than uh, magic itself. I can teleport one of my units, and why not? <laughs> Let's. I I chose not to. This is an interesting one as well because it's sloth. Chose not to march with them, and I teleported them, and they still count as not marching. So they've still got their sloth. Uh, minus one to wound, yeah, yeah. which is okay. really, really good. Um, my thought here is kill the um, volley guns and then see if I can support to the right and then have be in the the rear there or yeah. carry on going to the left and, and do that. So yeah. I've got options. I mean, worst there. case Adam scenario, you've got a yeah, scoring unit in his breakthrough. Yeah. Like even yeah. if the chosen lord comes out and goes solo, <laughs> while they sit in the deployment zone. That's still a exactly. Option. Yeah, yeah, no, and yeah, I think what this does is just gives me options, and I was pretty happy to to do that turn one, so that was quite nice. Very much so. There's not um, a lot that Matty could have defended against that, though. Really, so. No, there's not a lot you can do. The, the thing you could do is to surround it to um, mm -hmm. stop me going through, but it's after you're de you've deployed that I put it down. Yeah. So there's yeah. so, so if, one if I'm clever about where where it goes, yeah. It's very hard to do that turn one. Um, yeah. I get super lucky. He stops grave calls because obviously that means no armor. Uh, I get hellfire and I get like eleven hits and just batter oh. the thing, and I one shot it, and that is very useful uh, for the the player head mm -hmm. and uh, some points, early points as well, which is nice. Yeah, really good. Um, On to his turn two, and he get he's angry at that and pushes forward. Oh my goodness! Um, on this left side uh, with everything. He doesn't care if the Herald uh, goes in or anything like that. Uh, he's just pushing forward. And I was like, oh, okay, that's very interesting. Um, the right side's a little bit more tentative. Um, he has got the speed advantage on me. I think he's movement 8, I'm movement 7. So he's just moving so that it's a 12 for him, uh, 12 for me and 11 for him, um, making it more likely mm -hmm. that he... He gets the the charge, and I'm just going to wait until I definitely can get the dogs to chaff, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he gets some spells off. Um, he doesn't choose the Imperial Guard, uh, so I I let off everything that isn't the Imperial Guard, basically, is my thought, to see if I can get... If I want anything, it's going to be the Imperial Guard. Yeah. I've had a brain lapse with the Prelate spells. Because they're the same spells that each of the Prelate has, can you only get one of them off at a time? No uh, yes, but you, they're in different units, so they only, they it's only yeah, cast yeah, as unit. But but, um, but so if yeah. they cast one of them, the other one can cast that same one on that unit. Oh, so that you can duplicate because it's a bounce spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that, I remember the rule. That makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, it just no. doesn't stack. No, no, of course not. Yeah, there's no point in having a prelate in the same two prelates in the same unit casting yeah. the same spell. Yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah. Um, I guess I, I guess the only benefit of that would be that if you could do it twice, so mm -hmm. like if I dispel it, you could cast it again. So there, yeah. there's an argument that you could, but and mm -hmm. I, I think he's got two prelates in the imperial guard. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, over here, he's got um, he moves like so, so it's not an easy because you have to maximize where possible. Uh, mm -hmm. I I won't. Um, overrun into the sex so it's not a one two job i have to spend some time doing it which is yeah. fair enough uh and you know i start that process as early as i can yeah, yeah um over here uh so as you can see he actually moved up to chaff my herald so my herald couldn't get in as well uh before when i took the picture it could and he just moved up so that i couldn't basically mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. move in at the front uh like this i think um, but yeah, so I am an I I am an I R, uh, and I actually I actually take what was my only 
time uh, time out of the game. Um, and probably only one of like two in the whole tournament. And I go, <laughs> Paul, this could go one of two ways. It's a super swing in because Imperial Guard, but I have got Chosen and a Chosen Chariot. I could, I could, you know, with some spells, or whatever, I could actually go through these guys. But it's a risk. It, it, it mean, I think it'd be a big win either way. So do I do it? And he goes, just do what you want. I'm not here to tell you. Just have some fun, mate. Roll some dice. So uh, all right, yeah. let's do it. Let's have it on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, the, the thing that worries me is that Matt plays, Matty P plays Empire a lot. And he plays Imperial yes, a lot. And he moved up in front of me. And he knows Warriors. So yeah, the thing that... You don't. The thing that worries me is how confident he is, <laughs> because these oh. are these are auto charges, um, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay, we shall see. Or is he just bluffing? <laughs> yeah, I, I um, chaff the uh, flagellants on the right with his with my fallen, knowing that actually they've got 15 attacks and could whittle them down a little bit before anything else important goes into them. Yeah. Um, and yeah. This is the rest of the turn. On the right hand side, I move back uh, so that I've got a bit of space between us, and the Helmore comes over so that I can potentially uh, just move the Chosen Knights away. Uh, yeah. is, a, is a thing, and I can teleport them over the other side and get another breakthrough. So that's um, yeah. just gives me options, really. Uh, the the dogs are facing forwards, but they have reformed so that they get some space as well. I don't want any silly charges onto them to get out of the arc or anything like that. No, I, I think so. to be honest, with a, a big brick of 19 cavalry and a, and a general in there, you can afford to let that unit just claim the breakthrough. And you yep. just get out of there and either draw breakthrough or kill everything else. Yeah, so, and, and it's on this sensible. left side it's it's what happens in this combat. Whatever happens in this combat is going to determine the, the game really. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So if if either of us blows through the other, um, then yeah, you know, and I'm I'm pretty confident chosen a, a good. <laughs> so yeah, it's one of them. Pretty good. Uh, I get glory gold uh, and alchemical fire off on these guys uh, because that will really help. Uh, the, you know, this uh, with the whittling them down uh, so much. Um, so I, I do that on like two dice uh, early doors, and I get it off, and he lets it go, and he dispels everything else. Yeah, I suppose you don't so, need Gloria God on the Chosen, do you? So. No, they're yeah, winning on twos Winded anyway. on twos so, with yeah. AP3 plus anyway. So Yeah, and to be fair, my Sorcerer guy is all the way over there. So there is limited sure. stuff I can actually get on them. I can get maybe Word of Iron or things. Um, I kill this, this guy. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the amount of wounds they do. They do like 20, I think it was 25 wounds. It was just insane yeah, yeah, yeah. the amount of wounds I did. Um, I do take uh, ten back. To be fair, that's, yeah, um, that's pretty good going for the Imperials. But, so. Yeah, it was they they hit well. But I mean, after I I got like twenty five from my thirty attacks or something like that. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. so obviously, impact hits as well. But yeah, uh, really pleased with how I did their their bodyguard, which I knew um, going in. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that I I will still I'll get the same time now. Um, rather mm -hmm. than first, uh, but I did twenty five on the first round. And I'm hoping I can kill ten on this in the second. So you wouldn't go at the same time, surely? Imperial, Imperial infantry, both great weapons. But... Sure, okay. Your wrath, though. Oh, because you won't. Uh, first wrath round, is only first turn. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm with you. Um, his turn, he charges the fallen chaff, and he charges his halberds into my chariot. And there was nothing I could do. I couldn't like reform or anything to get them out, uh, because if I'd have reformed the chariot to go so that they were in my flank, it meant that there was an overrun with his flagellants. So yeah. Yeah. regardless, he's getting charged um, from there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think the, the flagellants charging into the flank of a chariot is probably worse. Yeah. Um, um, otherwise, he you know he goes in and this is how it looks, and uh, he moves his. Um, parent so sort of support unit just up going towards the objective uh, away from my herald. Um, mm. The guys on the right again just move up so that they're in range. I think he's now giving me an eleven and him a ten. Uh, so <laughs> it's tempting you ever so slightly more. Each yeah, time. yeah. 
Uh, go on, take that three inch chance. Go on, go on. Yeah, you yeah. will you take could, it. I thought you'd give yourself lucky sixes. Well, that's done. <laughs> um, he gets. Uh, so this was an interesting one. He gets um, the re rolls to wound off on the halberdiers, and I, right. I I say to him, God, well, I actually, in terms of the combat res, I want you to go through it uh, because if you kill him. It means that there's none of this flank, ch flank uh, charge, ranks, yeah. all the stuff for the combat race. And then it's just on straight wounds for your guard, for your Imperial Guards versus my Chosen. And I think I can out wound you. Uh, so I, I say that very blatantly to him. And he goes, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And I just say, you can have it. And then mm. the only other thing, I stop everything I can on the Imperial Guard. And he gets a five up save on the, um, the flaggies on the right, which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, over here, despite the five up save, I do ten wounds out of fifteen, which is pretty good. That glory gold really coming in, um, crutch there. Uh, but it does kill me and tears to face, yeah. which is fair enough. Um, over here, he goes through the chariot, so four wounds, mm -hmm. fair enough. Um, my chosen don't quite. I think they do seven wounds instead of ten, um, but I only lose four in return there. Uh, so all in all, I don't lose by much, and I actually hold. Because of the, none yeah. of this co static combat res is there. I think I'm on a six re rollable. So it wasn't like mm. it, definite, but I think I lose no. by one or two. And, uh, yeah, I, and, get, but I guess your issue is you haven't got a lot left there now, have you? And he's only really lost the Imperials. Um, yes. So, I mean, so, scoring wise, I've got the Herald coming back, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it's just. So now it becomes, because of this happened, and that's the trouble with. I guess the chosen is that they pump out. They've done so many wounds, but mm, mm. they just, if they take any back, they're yeah. surprisingly weaker fragile. And weaker. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And yeah, anything after the first round, they, they are actually a bit, a bit slow with the great weapon thing. So it's, it's in, it's an interesting one. Um, I, pra I did want to do a few more wounds, but I've, I've got 15 attacks doing sevens, not out of the ordinary. I probably, I did think I'd go for him in two, though, after that big first round, but it mm. uh, wasn't to be. But I hold, and we, we see what's going on. And, you know, even if I am holding him up, that's not the end of the world. No. He then turns to face that way as well, so at least we've got that as a distraction. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is on to my turn. So uh, I don't charge with the Herald, I don't think. So that's the... I don't know. I might I might do. I'm not sure. Um, Find out in a minute. But yeah, I, charges as well. I, I do charge the guy on the t at the top as well, the volume just a character and the Hellmore from the the right and uh, out of picture. Uh, I've got I'm a monster, so I've got stomp. I'm going into his flank. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, kill a few before they can turn around. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's, that's my plan. Like that. um, yeah, kill you kill like you say four or five, and then do another four mm. or five before they attack. Yeah, it's just all chopping away at this unit and then I can maybe get them and things. The Herald does go in um, into the rear so I've got combat resin. It's going to be steadfast for days but uh, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and well, what my... it means is that Matty will have to choose another unit to go and get a breakthrough for him rather yes. than that little yeah. unit. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, Yeah, that, that's what it is. And my, my Chosen Knights play their last card mm -hmm. and move back right to the end of the thing. Obviously with the Helm all going oh, in wait. the only trouble with this now is that they do need to engage yeah. So uh, yeah. there's that. They can't get out of dodge. No. So I'm committing, really, uh, to that. Uh, this goes in like that. Um, I This is actually after combat. I only do okay. two wounds with it all told. Mm. And I'm like, oh, I know the health more isn't meant to be super combat -y, but it can come on. <laughs> Yeah, two yeah, wounds. Yeah. It should have uh, rolled. Should have just rolled over a few. You know? Yeah, um, and they turn to face like this. I do kill the uh, war machine, gun. the volley gun, and I decide to turn this way because I think, obviously, now with the helm more going in, I'm not going to be able to tele teleport the chosen knights, and I think they're the ones that need the help. So uh, we'll see how I can do that. Obviously, we've got to be careful about breakthrough as well. Uh, Herald goes in here, does seven, uh, I think, out of seven wounds because it's got one stomp and six attacks, so like absolutely brutal. Oh no, and this might be Hellfire actually in my magic phase. Sure. Goes in and does yeah. seven. Um, over here, I lose another, so I, I lose everyone but my champ. Oh. Uh, oh, and no. my my nine attacks or ten attacks because it's a champ 
only do two wounds uh, again. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, I leave one Imperial Guard there, which means there's that. Uh, I do hold, but he it's his turn next. So, mm. and I'm still great weapons. So I'm like, oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Uh, he charges in to finish off the Chosen. Yeah, it, I suppose it just means now you only get half points for the Imperium. Yeah, he gets so, four points for the Chosen and the Chariot and the Fallen. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's what I can do there. Um, and this is the Roman main moves. He's turned around obviously against the Hellmore, so that's going to be an interesting one. Um, but he uh, can only move so far, so much forward. He actually moves sideways to get away from my uh, Lord as well. There. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do three wounds this time, and he does oh. six out of seven. Yeah, well, that's strength five, oh. aren't they? My age is my age is, is your hell more only tough? Is, is tough only five. Five, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and the the age just, just wasn't saving anything. I was like, oh, okay, um, does hold or whatever. Um, this might be might be crumble actually because it's supernal, but I'm not sure. sure. Um, might be either way, from I'm the left. You played them. Yeah, yeah. I'm left on one wounds, uh, and that's not looking good. It's probably um, a dud charge. That <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, the herald does a few more. I think he does four wounds, uh, but they're still steadfast because obviously the support unit. Um, but my chosen, cha oh no, my chosen champ. I don't know what he might even kill the last imperial guard. I'm not sure. Oh, that would be a result. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. How it is? Well, he's can't. got three there. No, no, that no, I didn't. Quite. Well, the only <laughs> thing is, I, I think there might be characters. So maybe I. Let's go back. If they only had three last time, maybe I do kill the Imperial Guard. So yeah, maybe I do kill the Imperial Guard off. Okay. But they hold because of uh, they did they did four. I would have done two. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. so maybe I do. Maybe okay. I do. But they, yeah, they're, they're all characters anyway. Um, da -da 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 -da. They turn to face my Herald, and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, and this is my movement. I chaff the, the uh, of course, knights. Of course, for it now. Yeah. My You've chosen lord sloth come brick, out to get them as well. Yeah, yeah, my sloth brick just stays there to make it 1-1, one, one, pre presuming that the halberdiers do go and collect it, mm -hmm. uh, the objective. Uh, and the chosen knights just move up like so. Uh, they're actually where the right most chosen knight is, um, basically saying, well, you can chaff me, but you'll have to go into their side. Then you'll have to reform. Then I'll charge you with them and the Lord. So pretty pleased with that. Sorcerer comes out as well. There's no range that I'm worried about. Um, so I can come over that way. And I do actually use him to uh, quick lash. Four of the knights oh. off. So it's a nice little start to that combo over there. Mm. Uh, I get rather battle off on this. Just to, <laughs> I want to pump through so as many as I can. Uh, this is the Herald after combat. So it gets them down to four or five. I'm not sure. Uh, but they're steadfast, they hold, and I just turn to face, knowing that the halberdiers won't be able to get in because the characters are three wide, and if the characters yeah. come in, I just challenge and kill them one by one, I yeah. think. Yeah. So, yeah, um, happy enough there. Um, Helmut dies, obviously I had one more win left. Uh, it does do like, I want to say four wounds, four or five wounds, so the, the rod of battle did help with a big... <laughs> But did it get them down to half points? <laughs> they didn't. Uh, they didn't. No. <laughs> uh, so this is how it looks after everything's all said, I think. Uh, and this is him in his movement. So he was oh, able cheeky. to swift reform and move around uh, my dogs. And he, as you can see in that ruins, his Light of Sonstall comes up to chaff me. Uh, he does mm. take a wound uh, in the Danger Train, which is amazing for me. Um, but I'm still not sure I like that combat. Mm. I'm still not sure I like that combat. Because he's a lot of souls. He could kill two in a, in a round, I think. Uh, but yeah, so there is that. Uh, over here, he moves his characters into the unit and they face this way and they go for the objective. We're done. So, yeah, we're done. Yep. Keeps them, uh, those character points and gets you a 1-1 one, one on the objective at least. Yeah. Uh, over here, I, I kill them. I don't kill them to a man, though, So, I, and I do choose to overrun just to make sure I get them. Mm. Well, you didn't want uh, them rallying in your breakthrough zone in the last turn. Exactly, days. exactly. Uh, yeah. But I do get them, which is nice. Uh, over here, I move up like so. I, I know that the Light of Sun Souls guy is behind me, 
but I do have quick clash. So uh, let's let's see if we can get that off. Um, I take it you've moved the ruin at this point. You just sign it. Yes, yeah, yeah, it. it was just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get quick clash. I kill him. Oh. I do the two wounds needed for that. So it's a lot of points. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it basically now comes down to a march check. If they don't pass a march check, then they can't get out of my line of sight. Um, I think we've got them, boys. To be honest, yeah. so uh, it, I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's all I could do, though. I couldn't because of where the Sonstal guy was. I couldn't position my chosen knights anywhere else, uh, unfortunately. But even more for, unfortunate for me, they do pass the march check um, and yeah. they move up like so. This is a turn six movement, the final movement. Um, and as you can see, the herald has come up. Uh, the Unit isn't facing me, so I'm pretty safe there no. just to help out maybe on, on my turn six. Um, hoping it's all... already in your deployment zone as well, isn't it? Like your big unit, so it's not like he has to yeah, move it now. Yeah, there's not, there's not a lot I can do about that. It's it's And passing his march check, unfortunately for me, means there's not a lot I can do with no, that two unit. One down. I, I do have a, I think it's an 11 charge, or a 10 or 11 charge with my lord into them. So that's my last sure. Hail Mary against them. Um but we will see that. Uh, and he fails. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, I choose to put everything I can into these. He stops grave calls. I put hellfire. I get him down to half points. So it's some oh, points, something. at least. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that, my friends, is the end of the game. And mm. a very, very fun game. Uh, lots that happened. Helpmore helped out a lot in terms of its positional play. I only actually put one marker down and, and put through it, but it really, really helped out uh, in that regard. Um, probably not convinced of its combat capabilities. Uh, no, well, we'll no see. absolutely not. I mean, yeah, we should take a little running tally as well, shouldn't we? Teleported once, died once. Yeah. I think that's probably starting off on a negative. So, you know, um, but maybe yeah, if you teleported so, twice before it died, then maybe that would be a positive. But, yeah. So. Um, so, as you can see, I get as many points as I can. I actually win on points uh, 12 8, um, all Gosh. in, uh, which is really cool. Um, but the objective is Matty P's, and because of that, he turns a loss into a win, that darn fellow. Yeah. Mm. Um, I suppose yeah, the, the Imperial infantry were worth quite a lot, weren't they? And the, the, yeah. the war machines, you know, the support and unit, the Sunstorm half though. the flagellants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All adds up, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I guess you didn't lose that much other than the three units that went down. So yeah. no, and and we had a fun game. I could have I could have been a bit more um, or less less aggressive on that side, but in all in all, I was pretty happy with how everything went. And um, yeah, yeah, a really fun game with Matty. Uh, he, as you say, got the objective. Uh, on to our team, uh, though, and we had a pretty poor round uh, with Paul getting his 10-10, uh, as predicted. Sure. Um, me, I, me, I guess, getting a bit higher because it was an orange rather than a, 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 a yellow, but um, yeah, yeah. It, but getting basically what I've got. Um, Luke doing really well, uh, and uh, Cluzy uh, just having a bit of an off, off day against the Dread Elves, unfortunately. So that was Dying slow. Mm -hmm. uh, ace in the hole, but yeah, no, it was uh, a, a, you know, not a great round uh, for the team, but uh, well, the thing with shooting against um, against big combat, the high elf red elf, is that if that shooting round one and maybe round two didn't go well, then they're on you, and they yeah. haven't lost many. So and the, the breakthrough lends itself to the more aggressive person as well. So uh, yeah, yeah. that's that probably didn't help out there, yeah. but yeah. Uh, th so that endeth the round and endeth the turn and we were there ready for uh, round two and eager to go and uh, looking for that first win still but uh, yeah, excited to see how it all went Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know just from your list you, you love playing this list you know, I do, this is, I, do. I, I think you could lose every battle 20 now and you'd still have fun time with this list because yeah, it is what you, got a lot what you like it, playing yeah. so, you know, yeah, yeah. Small though. Good. Everyone just <laughs> say, "Oh, that's a small list." I was like, "All right, mate." <laughs> yeah, deceptively. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's not that's how big it is. It's how you use it. All right, come on. <laughs> Too right. Yeah. No, that's cool. Look forward to seeing round two. But yeah. So uh, yeah, 
uh, round two up against oh well actually it was against we had had another ringer in the team and I ended up playing the ringer so um, oh, okay. so the second second time we have a team where we've got a ringer in it and uh, yeah excited to see how that one went of course yeah give us some comments like share subscribe do all your usual stuff we love reading through them and responding as always and uh, yeah let us know what your thoughts are on the hell more because um, be interesting to hear more opinions absolutely. Uh, but yeah uh, find us on all the social medias you can see here until next time see you later